In this lecture, you will get to know the ISO 27000 family of standards. The ISO 27000 family of standards is a series of interrelated standards that can be combined to form a comprehensive framework for information security management. There are four categories of standards within this family. Standards describing overview and terminology, standards specifying requirements, standards describing general guidelines, and standards describing sector-specific guidelines. Please note how there are normative and informative standards. Only normative standards can be audited for compliance. This allows organizations to get certified and demonstrate their abilities to outsiders. All standards specifying requirements are normative standards. All the other standards are informative standards. Let's have a closer look at standards describing overview and terminology first. This is the case for ISO 27000. As you can already tell from the title, this standard is all about overview and vocabulary in terms of information security management systems. This is also reflected in the scope and the purpose of the standard. So to sum it up, ISO 27000 is the foundation for every standard within this family. However, the best part about this standard is the fact that it's free. All right, let's try to get a copy of ISO 27000. Therefore, we visit ISO.org and open up this search query. Here we simply search for ISO 27000 and hit enter. Um, there we go. This takes us to this page and let's change the filter to standards. And there we go. Here is ISO 27000. And this takes us to the main page of the standard. So let's see what we can find here. Um, if we click on preview, we end up in the online browsing platform. And here you can have a, a preview at most standards available. Um, but don't get too excited without a subscription. You can only read the informative sections, which do not provide a ton of value. However, sometimes it's already helpful to have to study the, the table of contents to get a brief understanding um, of what a standard is all about. In the case of ISO 27000, the full version is available for free. Um, in order to get that, we simply follow the link provided um, in this banner right here. And you will end up on a list um, where all um, standards that are available for free are listed. Um, let's try to search for ISO 27000, just hit Control F, for example, hit Enter, and here we go. This is um, ISO 27000. Um, due to copyright protection, I cannot show you the actual content of the standard, so you got to have a look by yourself. Next, let's focus on standards specifying requirements. Remember, these are the standards that contain actual mandates that can be audited for compliance. They are usually referred to as normative standards, which means organizations can get certified by external certification bodies in order to demonstrate compliance to outsiders. ISO 27000 is the centerpiece of the ISO 27000 family of standards. It provides the basic requirements for an ISMS and it's one of the most sought after management system certifications on the market. We are going to dedicate the entire next lecture on this standard, so please have a little more patience. For now, just be aware that this document specifies the requirements for establishing, implementing, operating, monitoring, reviewing, maintaining, and improving formalized information security management systems within the context of the organization's overall business risk. ISO 27006 specifies requirements for bodies providing ISO 27001 audits and certifications, which is not relevant for this course. ISO 27009 defines requirements for sector-specific controls as addition to the base controls in ISO 27001. Released just recently, ISO 27701 contains requirements and guidelines on how to extend an ISMS to a privacy information management system. This should also not bother you, but it's good to know about these standards. As you can see, there is a ton of standards describing general and sector-specific guidelines. 
These standards provide guidance for all sorts of aspects within the context of implementing, establishing, and running an ISMS. This might sound a little complicated, but in fact, it's quite simple. Attached to this lecture, you can find a mind note that was designed by me to illustrate the complex relationships between these standards. Um, let's start with ISO 27000, which describes the fundamentals of information security management systems. Um, therefore, we simply open up the mind note and let's drag it up a little bit. And there we go. So as you can see, uh, the ISO 27000 standard is, contains a couple of informative sections that cover things like introduction, scope, normative reference, this and so on. And um, as the standard is about terminology, there is a bunch of definitions um, contained within. Um, for the sake of this lecture, we're not going to cover all of them, but if you want to know about a couple of these um, terms, simply open up the standard and go and have a look by yourself. Um, let's close this section in order to save some space on the screen. Um, you can also see that there is a section on information security management systems in general. And on the left hand side, um, there's sections covering um, all the standards within this family of standards. So here are the standards specifying requirements, the standards describing general guidelines, and the standards describing sector specific guidelines. Now this standard is um, a standard that contains uh, an overview, so it is connected with all the other standards within this family, um, even ISO 27001. So this is ISO 27001 with all its contents. Um, don't be afraid, um, we'll cover that standard in the next lecture, but for now um, you can already see what's uh, contained within this standard. Um, and now on the uh, right next to it, there is a couple of additional standards. And right next to it, um, you can see um, standards describing guidelines. For example, ISO 27002. So in Annex A, um, the, there are the controls within ISO 27001. And um, they are just described in, very briefly within ISO 27001, but ISO 27002 contains extensive guidelines on how to implement and apply them. And uh, this is um, illustrated right here. So let's drag this down there, let's drag this down there. And now we can see that uh, organizational controls are up here, people controls are up here, physical controls are up here. So this is the connection between these standards. Um, in ISO 27001, you're also required to monitor, measure, and analyze um, your organization. In other words, you need to track KPIs. This is described in ISO 27004. Um, internal audits are further described in ISO 27007 and even in ISO 19011. But uh, this is not within this family of standards, of course. And there's a couple of other standards. I think the most important one is maybe ISO 27005. The standard uh, describes the risk management approach, which is um, the heart and soul of ISO 27001. So um, just remember this mind note is a work in progress. Um, at the time of recording of this video, not all relevant standards have been incorporated into the graphic. Feel free to check on my LinkedIn to receive updates on future releases, which will be made available in this course.